Uh, right. So, uh, where we kind of left off. <laughs> Why, Josie? What? I just what opened I Discord. I <laughs> saw the horse. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, where we left off, Esteban absolutely oblivious to everything, threatening the room, and Tien and Reinhardt arguing about where they should be, uh, and Victoria going, fuck it. Cool. Go. What are you doing? The I will try. The ward has gone now that the uh, now Esteban has stepped through the door. By the way, yeah. just for I clarification. Will, I will usher Reinhardt to stay like as close as possible as we move out into the nursery room. Oh, I thought I was staying behind. Well, no, you're the one who argued that the kids shouldn't be left alone, and I said yeah, that well, you protect can... them with your life, and I'll protect you with mine. But the, the kids didn't come with me when I stole their toys. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Drac, can I have clarity on whether or not the children are they in did. my pockets? They, they did. The kids, they are, they are. the kids are in your pockets. Oh, good. The voice did come from okay. those, but... Uh, they don't seem to have an awareness not, of being. They are not aware of the fact that they are stuffed toys and tin knights oh, and they can't move in that form. All right. That's good. All right, cool. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm good. Yeah, I got my teleporting knife. It's going to be fine. This is going to be great. Victoria, what are you doing? She'll do a call out. Only a creatures of madness only talks to thin air or lurks in thin air, and you don't want to make me mad. Does that make Esteban mad? <laughs> Very soon. We already knew the answer to that question, me and are you, So <laughs> are you attempting to intimidate the room? <laughs> yeah. To Victoria, you know, I suppose so because to them it's come on then if we're doing this we're uh, doing this. Okay, roll to intimidate and also roll me a perception check. Okay, first is the intimidation. Flat roll and it's a natural one. Um, I'm put off by Esteban swag. Um, <laughs> so, um, that is one damn fine sword. <laughs> it is. Um, strong. Yeah, the, the swag is too strong. Okay, perception. At 18. Nice. Uh, you notice that some of the toys aren't where they used to be. Get ready for a Toy Story. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> um, they seem to be... Some of them seem to be... Oddly... Frozen in different positions, closer to the door than they were. This is either a weeping angel situation, or I'm actually going to take out a page of Esteban's book. So anyway, I started blasting, <laughs> but in my case, <laughs> it's going to be a fireball. <laughs> so I'm going to aim at the toys and. Fire. Okay. Fire for it. Okay. Are you just like doing to... like a specific toy or are you doing just like a wide blast in the general direction of the ones that you've seen that are moved? I would say if I can notice it on my perception check, the one that is nearest to the is getting closest to the door. Okay, notes. Um yep. Uh ten. The toy seems to melt on the spot. Seems to just, you've just melted a toy. That's pretty. <laughs> I would like, I would like to hold an attack if a toy within reach moves. Okay. 
Like, I'm not actively attacking until something nearby moves. Okay. I, I would like to hold my action until anything comes in the room that's not us. <laughs> and I am immediately going to start blasting, but when I look, when I see Victoria do that, I'm just going to go, look, is, is there something going on with the toy? Did you not the like toys, that? The toys are moving. Look, pay, look, look closer. They're moving. They're all heading towards the door. They're either moving or someone is or something is moving them and they'll be creeping towards Esteban, I Victoria, would wager. Victoria, you have not seen anything actually move. You just know that they weren't in that position when you left this room. Thank you for the clarification. The toys have moved in, so I'll alter what I was saying, but with mm. the toys have changed position. So either they're moving unseen or something is moving them because I just blasted a toy into absolute nothingness ooh <clears throat> can I use the tech magic go for it ta-da I've used the magic <laughs> <laughs> what can I see in the room Like, are, are any of these toys individually glowing nothing um, is individually magical Okay, is the entire okay is the entire room magical? Like, what magic's going on around me? I can see, you know, if that makes sense. You That's like thirty feet. Can tell that there is magic flowing elegantly off of the very fantastic cape that Esteban is wearing. Um, <laughs> Shielding my eyes. You yeah. can't detect anything. There's no items that aren't on your party. Uh, mm. There's no... There's nothing being cast upon. All right. Oh, Backstabber is a magical weapon as well with this infusion on it. Okay. This is the point. All right. <laughs> All right um, can... Go on. I was just going to say, can I follow that up with a religion check to see if this is any kind of haunt or spooky goings on that I may have read about? Go for it. Eighteen. So you have heard tales of spirits utilizing objects to traverse locations. but that they cannot do anything without being unobserved. The bloody weeping angels. Um, so, um, Victoria will relay that they can only move these spirits through inanimate objects. However, they can only move when unseen Ooh. make a perception check uh oh because you're looking at Esteban aren't you well if so 11 this time and I'll be <laughs> you don't notice anything Esteban are you paying attention to the room or are you paying attention to Victoria I'm paying attention to the door that apparently they're heading towards you you notice that the 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 board has disappeared. Um, you can see the end and Reinhop uh, in front of the door. Eyes on the toys. Do not let one out of your sights. Let's get into a circle, all back to back, and then we just step. I mean, the room bit by bit. Eh? I, it, it 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 takes nothing to me to just start. Blast it all the we, we can try we can certainly try that yes okay if they can, path at least if they can only move through manipulated mutilated objects then that may work just uh, make sure I, no toy gets near esteban i'm uh, uh start blasting dude okay start blasting then isn't Reinhop the one we should be protecting? Yeah, I was going to say it's Reinhop that yeah. needs to be protected but i mean i'm sure esteban's not complaining about the protection are those key uh... savings? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I will, as as, as the band starts blasting. <laughs> yep. You melt. As, as the band, yeah. As that band starts blasting, I'll just move over to one to sort of like keep a protective eye or line between myself and Reinhop along with me and. You, you. There is a lot of 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 junk in the room. Um. Yeah. So, how are you blasting? Are you blasting haphazardly? Are you targeting any any toy that you're near? Oh um, my god! I'm gonna be blinded by the battle dust. I, I'm <laughs> targeting the ones that are closest to uh to Reinhop. Uh, it's just like also I'm basically going from like. Here, down. Okay, okay. So, why is that door closed? I closed it behind me. <laughs> what? It was res- it was respectful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Somebody else's home, you know. Don't want to make a draft. As as we're walking through the room, Mian won't attack any toys, but we'll use the sword to like shift them out more into the open, and make it easier for the spellcasters to. Okay, shoot. so I know Esteban is going from here to here, right, and has blasted three toys. Victoria, what are you doing? Which direction are you facing, and uh, how are you approaching, and where are you going? I'm kind of um I'm kind of watching sort of like these three squares downwards from my position and I would like to do the same as me and I would try to take my staff and I will try to shift as much debris detritus and toys over to around this location here for Esteban to essentially eliminate and dispose of the objects. Okay, so what you're saying is you're turning your back to uh, the uh, other half of the room to move stuff into a pile. That would be correct. Okay. I think the top side of the room is unwatched. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hate that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what I'll do then is I'll have I'll I'll be walking backwards with like with my left arm over over like over my uh, over my jacket with the toys inside it, uh, and my other hand like ready holding the holding back stab ready to ready to throw the dagger at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Magic weapon's gonna have a name. <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Right. Um, yeah. So I'll try and keep an eye on the back and, and like stay in between all three of them. Like I'm gonna try and stay in the middle, so I'm, I'm like the most protected. Okay. Bien. Mm-hmm. Are you going to be moving through the room, or are you going to yep. just stay where you are? Nope, I'm moving. Right. I'm, and I'm moving. Where are you all aiming to end up? I'm assuming down here. Oh, Are you aiming to end up at here. the unopened yeah. door or the? Door? I thought we were going to because we were told the family room was connected to this room, yeah. and that's the uh, yeah. only other door. Yeah, we that's where we. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get to we, gotta, we gotta get to the fam pot to get that amu. Right. Uh, I would like what? each of you to roll me two perception checks each. Oh, shit. Two. Mm. So I'm going to do, oh, like, the first half of the room and the second half of the room. Gotcha. All right. I got an 18. It's the best hey. result I've ever had. And then this I reminds, Yeah, this reminds me of Independence Day. Gentlemen, let's plow the road. Okay. 10 and 18. Right. 7, 13. Ooh. Oh, you're oh, 21. Roll. 21, nice. 19. Okay, Victoria, your coverage of the room, immaculate. You managed to make it to the door without any incident. Nothing moves on your watch uh, down that left side. Okay. Right. Esteban, uh, (laughs) first half of the room, 
a-okay uh as you're looking straight forward uh i assume second half of the room no good you are oblivious right so just keep that in mind bien oblivious um reinhop oblivious for the first half nothing gets past you uh, uh on the second half of the room but right for those who are oblivious for certain halves of the room I would like you to make wisdom saving throws. Oh, shit. Not my I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna I'm check if I game. have anything. Ooh. That was almost one. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, seven. Shit. shit, okay, here we go. Wisdom save. Seventeen. Okay, right. I don't want anything bad to happen to these children. Reinhop is the one that failed. <laughs> you um, were so preoccupied with uh, uh, keeping an eye on, on your pockets for the first half of the, 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 the traveling of this room that completely missed something coming up on you Ooh. tiny tiny straw doll seems oh. to have found its way onto your leg and stabs you with a pin ow asshole can I, can I, can I argue for something yeah go for it um See, I, I do believe Reinhardt failed on the portion of the room that Esteban succeeded in. But was facing a different direction. <laughs> yeah, we all had our own... You all had your north, south, east, west, basically. Alright, never mm. mind. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, because he has backstabber to stand, like, there is one eye that always saves <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Oh. Um, uh, so you you take two uh, d four damage, please. Oh god, do I roll it? Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I try. That's oh, okay. Take oh, three no. damage. You little monster. After hearing the ouch, can I blast it? Yeah, do we hear, like, an exclamation of pain? Yes, and uh, you also all, at the same time, hear, Harvests! We smell harvests! And I smell my own blood. Ew, gross! Can I, can I sort of slam Reinhop and myself with backs against the wall? Like, so we just, like, get... Push up slamming? with our backs. <laughs> no, but like grab you and pull us against the wall. So our backs are towards the wall. So we have like. I just need to get it off my leg. It'll be fine. The, the rest of you. Does anyone else have a little doll given and a little snuggle? No. Uh, I mean, nope. I don't like to see you get stabbed, but like right. now you know how it feels. They all. Oh, they all. Oh! <laughs> they all survived their uh, their wisdom saves. So. Can I, can I give this little little guy a stab and move on, or or is it not? Go that for simple? it. Backstab right. yourself. Ah! <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> just do not get a one. Is is the? Uh... You can't say that. I was almost <laughs> one. I only got a ten. Stop you the a plus five and everything. Yeah. No, <laughs> um. I mean, it's it's a straw doll. You managed oh, to so. stab it. Um. You slice through some straw. Yeah, you take that, you little rat. Was it just a disembodied voice? The voice seemed to echo throughout the room. Okay. I say so we uh, maybe hurry this along. Yeah, do we make it through the rest of the room? Like, is that the only incident yeah, that happened? Yeah, so that was the only incident that happened in that entire time, yeah, and I just wanted to make sure that it was like, an hour out of all of you, this is where it happened and when. Gotcha. Okay. Right. right. 
Someone got my back. I'm opening the door. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to open the door in. and and sort of like step in quickly to make sure there's enough room for everyone else to scurry in behind. All right. So you're scurrying. Uh, close, the close the door. As you yeah. close the door, you hear banging against the door. Like lots and lots of banging against the door. Oh. Do we want uh, to place I, someone at each door? I was going to say, can I move this like chair in the way of the door? Sure. Or, or get Esteban, Esteban, <laughs> get Esteban to do it. Uh, Master Esteban, would you mind helping with chair, little arms? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> All right. Victoria, is, Victoria is immediately going for the family portrait, which yeah, I me and will, is here. Me and no. will walk over and cover the other door. Um, so, you have entered the family room. It's rich furniture, um, clusters around a tall fireplace. It's a mantle lined with dusty knickknacks. Um, and... Uh, on one of the walls, one closest to the other door, there hangs a portrait of a stiff but handsome looking family. That it? That's them. I know this is not necessarily the time, but the artist could have done a better job. I'm pretty sure Lord Harvest was more handsome than that. Victoria! <laughs> And she's saying this as she do look she's just trying to bloody not crap herself so she's just lifting up the uh portrait and looking behind it um no <laughs> no you're not <laughs> it doesn't budge <laughs> make me a perception check oh, no. These little creatures. At, a, at, a, at a end sometime eight you don't seem to know how it moves, but it doesn't just lift. Just it's not shifting. What you do notice <laughs> is that the faces seem to be shifting. Kind of pulsating from one and then and then recongealing and then going to another. Twisting strange grotesque we're on, ways we're on the clock fuck it I'll try and put my hand through the picture a force pushes back at you make me a a uh, strength check saving throw okay yeah saving throw 20 30 it doesn't manage to push you Forcibly, but it does manage to stop you enough. Okay, so anyway, I start blasting. I'm gonna keep this guy. I'm ducking. You're 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 blasting at Victoria. <laughs> I'm aiming at the picture. I, I, I trust Victoria to duck. <laughs> Crap, How left. dare you violate this place? Who Fuck. comes to me now? I said the protectors of the harvest children. Sorry, what was that? Go, JC. What? I said no, sorry. I... What was that? I did not hear it. From who? You. We ended up talking. Oh, I said the protectors of the harvest children. Now wave the dolls around. Give a little shake. <laughs> <laughs> We are the protectors of the Harvest children. Who are you well, to come it. here and claim such things? Because well, your ways have failed. At the request of the mother, too. My and request who are you? Is that you pay tribute for your uh, um, uh, violation of this place? Greedy spirits. So greedy. What do you want? What do you want, huh? What? What's? What? what, what Bake as an offering. Who are no, you? No. <laughs> we are the harvests. Bullshit. 
Yeah, we just talked to Lady Harvest. She going night night. All right, here, guys. Okay. I'm just gonna walk by and like pass everybody and put five gold next to the painting. Is that enough? Can we? Can we get all? You got. You're supposed to have a sweet, sick amulet, and we we need it. You must pay for squeezing us. I just put five gold on the. What more do you? Uh, listen, I'm a little light on gold right now. I was supposed to pick up after the funeral, but that was a mess. And now I'm here. I don't know where I am. I get paid tomorrow. I can come back here. Give us something I of worth. I will dig out the red ring mail for my backpack. I'm wearing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't really do that if, if Victoria's oh, wearing then I'm, it. I'm, I'm gonna delete it from my inventory then. All right. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna use <laughs> No, it's okay. I, I, um, I'll give them the pouch of coins I found in the other room. We have no use for coins. Give us All something right. of worth. Here. You wanna take a gold back? I'm going to summon Fortune Cleaver, which was the sword that I started with. Oh. Um, it's very sentimental, and normally he wouldn't let it go, but you know why he's willing to. Uh, <laughs> got a cooler <laughs> one. <laughs> there. This has sentimental value. Yes, the, my general gave it to me when he taught me how to manipulate my curse. So it's very important to me. Now take it and give me that sweet, sick ass amulet. Accepted. And then the portrait swings open. I really like that sound. But these Hawkers seems like a bad people, bad parents, very bad wizards. I'm just it's, saying. It's it's fair to be skeptical considering though. Right. They, Is there still they, banging on the door? Yep. They're still <laughs> banging <laughs> on the door. Um <laughs> there they, Oh sorry. Is a lockbox behind the portrait and a one foot long black feather and a little I'm gonna, pouch. I'm gonna pull all that out and put it on the table. Open it all up. Yeah, I'll open up the lockbox. So the lockbox uh, contains a a an amulet. Um, it's looks like symbolically a raven. Um, and then yeah, you've got a little pouch and and uh, a a big big black feather. Also, I take my five gold back. Um, oh, I'm not going to, yeah. Um, Stupid just going to put it all on the table <laughs> and go, uh, listen, Reinhardt, Reinhardt should probably wear the amulet since it's holding the kids. Oh, yeah. I'm going to open up the pouch. What's in it? Is there any way we can find out There's what the There's ten gold does? pieces in it. What, sorry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking that. You got to turn my financials. Well, you made a profit, Esteban. I know, right? You know, well, not really. That sort of. Didn't lose a family heirloom. You turn uh, back um, around, and the sword appears to have disappeared. I'm gonna burn this house down. Uh, <laughs> uh, and if anybody doesn't buy terribly, that feather would look fantastic in my hair. <laughs> Do not mind at all. No. So no. you're giving the amulet to Reinhop, yes? Yes. So yeah, Reinhop, upon wearing that, um, that will give you protection from evil and good spell Ooh. upon you. Oh, like I have that cast on me right now? Yeah. Okay, cool. If you wear it. Yeah, I'm wearing it. Oh my god, Esteban, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Nope. I do what I can. For uh, everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we're safer. I look even more incredible. Lost the sewer, but that's okay. Um, let me actually remove Fortune Cleaver from my. Oh, bad we were told the password monolith would be open upon the breaking of the ward. The little uh, black box blinks at you incessantly. Yeah, and I was just about to say, but Rick wants to see us, and he has put wards up in the seance room. 
Let's make our way back to him then. I, I, I was jump scared by that door opening. That door was closed before. Too much hey. power. Too much I'm power. All, I'm all for talking to Rick and whatnot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I mean, step out and close the door. We were, we were essentially told that the monster there is actually is... a doll's arm on the frame as you, you close the door. <laughs> just crunches this doll's yeah, arm. can I, can I just like slam the door? Yep. Everyone says the that's... movie Toy Soldiers. That's what this brings me back to. Me too. That's <laughs> about the reason to go. Listen, uh, I'm all for. The seance and talking to the guy and whatnot, but we were told the monolith was the beating heart of all the evil in here, so shouldn't we just go stab that real quick? Yeah, but that's in the basement. We have to get past Rick anyway, and that room is safe. You have to get past Rick, as I like. <laughs> like... <laughs> Sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes an NPC ally is just that an NPC ally. I mean... Okay, okay just... let's. Uh... I'm just, I guess I'm more eager to kill these ghosts than everybody else. Let's go! <laughs> and, uh, I, me and would want to take up the rear and try to, like, get everyone going first. Oh, wait, okay. Is anyone gonna go in front of Reinhardt or is Rampart scurrying faster than everybody else? I'm in front of it. Okie dokie, thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming you're just scurrying downstairs and scurrying down the other stairs as well. Yeah, I, I think we're going fast rather than keeping an eye out. We're just trying yeah. to outrun whatever this to is. To what floor? Um, the first floor? Are we, we going to see Rick again? I'm, yeah. I'm down just I, going straight to the I mean, basement. We can go see Rick. Yeah, down to Rick's floor, I'm assuming? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I shit. just needed to know where to place you on the <laughs> transfer. Okay, so. I'll burst in here and close the door behind us. Oh. One second, oh, one second, oh. Uh, oh, shit. There. Oh. Is Rick not there? Is there no door to close? He's, I so mean, there's you, here, there's no, 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 you don't even get to the room. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh shit! Apologies. Back in. Chan <laughs> back Chandelier's in. gonna kill us. <laughs> back up! Back up! Rewind. Back up on the stairs. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So as you come down the stairs, the stairs that seem to be ever more creaky as you run, everything seems a little bit more on edge. A little bit more shadows in corners that you don't remember portraits seem to be falling off of the walls unexpectedly and as you Aww. come down the stairs kind of ignoring all of this and and just making your way as hurriedly as possible to the safety of the room you come down the stairs and see the eagle statue was in in the parlor. Well, the foyer, sorry. Mm -hmm. As you enter, the statue shudders and cracks. And a wet, red thing starts to hatch from the sculpture. Oh, this went so well for me last time. Can I panic and throw back Stabber? <laughs> Feel free to panic and throw back, Stabber. Um, <laughs> I, you all get a round to to make your choices. Yeah, um, oh, shit. I'll, I'll let everyone else finish what they want to do first, but I'm 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 throwing I'm throwing my, my, my knife. I am. So... Anyway, I start blast. <laughs> yeah, right. What? No way. Twenty <laughs> one. Uh, for me, Blade War to begin with. Just want to see what I'm dealing with first. You always have the option of running. Okay. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> oh, the the have told us that we can run. I'm not, I'm not made out of punk. 
I mean, <laughs> I'm a grade A certified beat yikes. <laughs> Give me six more damage and I'll see how much punk I might be made of. I... Is this... No, I'm gonna wait. I don't. I don't have enough information. <clears throat> That's a I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold an attack until this thing seems to be. Yeah, I rolled, a I rolled a twelve to throw my dagger. Uh, that misses. Yeah. Okay, can I just times. stab it from like on the stairs? Like lean I'm over the railing. On the stair. Okay. Yeah. But Man, I'm, at I'm on the stairs. Okay. I, I thought it was a big, big thing. <laughs> you are leaning over a uh, um, <laughs> uh, a yeah, well, railing. I thought it was big enough to where, like, it... But you're not going to be stable. Yeah, you're still leaning over by this thing. Yeah, I, I rolled a 21 to hit this thing. Okay, you hit the thing. How much is that? Four damage. Yeah. It seems uh... to be rather annoyed at that... It didn't come through to roll 20, but I got a 20 with disadvantage. It's in the the, the dice log in D&D Beyond. I haven't got that up at all. Um, Can't confirm. Okay. Uh, right. What are you hitting with your sword? Yeah, sword. How much damage does it do? It does a whopping five points of damage. Slashing. Okay. <laughs> Everyone gets a round to do the thing. Oh, think... also with my movement, I'm gonna move. So I still have light side of it, but I am stepping like out the door <laughs> just a bit. That out door is doors. closed. Yeah, the mists out there and stuff. Yeah, I'm okay with the mist. The door is closed. It's locked. Ah, uh, okay. Well. In that case, I will put my back against the wall, uh, going towards this room. Maybe. Wait, this this one. There we go. Uh, Mia would try to shuffle in front of Reinhop to be like blocking. I'm going to duck. <laughs> Taking the dodge action. Victoria. Um, ready to action. If it goes to make a strike, I'll give it one back. Okay. Well. In which case, everyone, everyone, roll me some initiative. Go. I gave you the chance to run. Yeah, I just did. want you all to know that. Yeah. Oh fuck! I haven't got the bloody turn order up. Sorry. Oh, no, I haven't even switched my own either. Sorry. Yeah, I, I forgot to do the thing. Yeah, I you got need to select the character too. <laughs> even I've got that, I've got that every week. Oh, mine's gone on there. Nice. Massive eleven. Uh, I'll I'll roll again so I pop into the thing, but I got a four. Well, luckily oh, it was yeah. a lower one anyway. Um, there. So, just ignore that. Uh, so, Esteban, would you roll me a a a d twenty? That's about guess to determine how we die. About time. <laughs> uh, I Ooh. rolled a four. Ooh. Cool. So it goes first. Cool. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to. It is going Ooh. to hatch forth from the statue and fly up and then it is going to dive attack bien does it get attacks of opportunity as it flies up and away uh no it doesn't all right no worries because it flies out of enemy's reach okay it's literally got on a, a thing that says does not provoke Tax of opportunity. No, no, I, no, I believe it. I believe it. It's all good. Uh, right. So I need. Come at me. How 
more forward. It'd be really nice if I could have like a pack. Nah, you know, I think it's better if you don't attack. It's preferable. Okay, so that was uh what are you god why have Attention. you two fucking dice what sorry roll 20s rolled two fucking dice for me and it's, it's just like okay so which one are you what are you doing but we're just we're just going to ignore one and uh, take the first one so a 19 okay. to hit oh it just hits and I would do. Thanks for not actually doing damage for me. Um. Four <laughs> points of. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, an extra. Oh, oh. oh, I do an extra two because I was dive attacking. So, four, five, eleven points of damage. Okay, I'm still up. I'm still up. I'm bracing. Like, I'm holding my shield up and I'm getting pushed into the wall. Esteban, it's your turn. Yeah, it is, isn't it? All right, I'm going to hit this thing with uh, with the uh, old Hexblade Curse. Mm. Okay. And then, then uh, I'm gonna start blasting. Okay. Uh, thirteen to hit. It does hit. Uh, and that's actually uh eleven points of damage, uh, with the curse. Well, cool. it's it's looking. Moderately hit. Victoria. Uh, also, just I'm also um, uh, gonna use my movement to duck behind this wall. Okay. Okay, Into Victoria. Room six, you say. <laughs> I don't like Victoria. <laughs> right, Victoria is just not gonna like this. Doesn't have time for this. So, let's go old school one hundred and one. Magic missile. I I actually have to uh pause you there, uh because I need Esteban to make me a, a wisdom save. Mm. Oh, I beg your pardon. Apologize. You're all good. You're all good. Uh, I. You uh, are not uh. Phased by the woman covered in blood swinging an axe at you uh so like so esteban's gonna take that shot hop in this room uh, get swung at apparently and just go hey how you doing <laughs> <laughs> that is so esteban okay um three magic missiles the first one slug it for four second missile for three Third missile for two, so nine total. Sorry, I'm crap at maths. Cool. It is looking really, really worse for wear. Okay. Uh, holding position. <coughs> Reinhardt. All right. Um, so my knife came back to me at the end of the last turn. I'm, I'm going to throw it again. Okay. Um, give me a sec. I pressed all the wrong buttons there. Let's see how this goes. Oh, 20. That does hit. Uh, and it rolled the damage for me for some reason, so six damage. And with that, it falls from the air and splats on the floor with Oof. a thud. You're going to get so much excitement out of Reinhop in this moment, because Reinhop has finally done something of martial prowess. So it's just like... Ah! Power! Ah! I don't know what's going on in there, but there's a 
body with a bloody body in here. <laughs> oh, you should come out or I'd have killed Beast single paw. Little busy with the honey with the bloody body. <laughs> yeah, are, are we still get in her, initiative? Yeah, uh, get her addressed and let's go. No. <laughs> okay. So go straight away. We're now out like, of initiative. Yeah, running down and looking into the room, do we also yeah. see this? There is no one in there other than Esteban. Esteban, the haughty with the bloody body, seems to have disappeared. <laughs> I have that effect on. <laughs> We've gathered. <laughs> oh. oh, is there a trophy I can yank off of the big bird, or does it like dissolve? Uh, there is. You can you can take its head, I guess, if you spend time cutting it away. That's a lot. Can I just like rip, like a hack off an antler or something real quick? Uh, just something small. Okay, end of, end of its beak will do. That's dark. So you, again, blink. the beak would wouldn't really yank off. You'd have to actually no. cut it off. Yeah, an antler just... would take some <laughs> strength. Um, yeah, you could maybe it's take okay a claw. Oh, I'll take a claw. That'll do. Yeah, I'll take a chicken foot. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. You have a rather large uh, claw. Yeah. There you go. So are yeah. we all in agreement <laughs> to go to the monolith now? Oh, I thought you were gonna check the. I thought we were going to check on Rick. Evil Rick. What is going on out there? Yo, you rang. You did this. Yeah. That was the money. Come on. Right <laughs> it's joke. It's joke. <laughs> Don't start, you two. You called. Uh, yeah. I thought you'd have been gone a long time, and and if 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 needed, then we can do this the, 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 another seance. But I, I, you seem to have disappeared far. for a while. Okay. And it gets we lonely down here. I, okay, your loneliness not our problem. <laughs> we should go. We should go to Monolith. Esteban was right. Monolith, complete waste of time. Basically, Gosh. found basically found Harvest family children. Mother tried to protect them. Put up a warded door using the symbol of the Raven. The children is now in our possession. She seemed to have placed them into two toys, but these dark spirits that are in this place want the souls of the Harvest family, which the only two appear to be left are the children. There is a monolith here below in the old castle, I'm presuming, and apparently that monolith is the source of all of this corruption. We need to destroy it. We managed to find an amulet of protection from behind the family portrait, now that we've removed that, now that we've moved the children, the house is going nuts with increased haunts and beasties trying to attack, uh, trying to attack us. You caught up with that? Ah, uh, would Good. you like right. to keep the children here because uh, oh, this room is protected? No, you are like, I don't. Are we all this stupid? Like. Yes, Rick might not be bad I, guy. I mean, Do I trust him with children life? No. no the room I, is warded. Uh, I can go yeah. with you if you want. Look. To this monolith? I and we can leave the children here. Of my importance in the greater scheme of things. Yes and to you I tagging was... along and no to leaving children behind. Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, if yeah. the house is after the children, wouldn't you prefer to leave the children in a warded area that is protected from the haunts or the attacks. That's a GM just, hint, if I've, I've heard one. I just say I entirely... Yeah, but I don't know if it's if it's I, us being strung along or if it's an all actual... Right, <laughs> all right, Esteban talking now. I've had yeah. enough of it. We're not arguing about this for 40 minutes. I'm I've had it with these motherfucking <laughs> snakes on this motherfucking planet. <laughs> right now, you can either join me or find my corpse because some kids, I don't care about them. I don't care. About them. I want to get out of here and pick up my pay that I'm supposed to get after the end of the funeral. So come with me and stop talking. And he's just going to walk to the bottom. Yeah, same. <laughs> Wait, are you going to the right or the left? I don't know. It's over. It's over here. It's this way. Where are you going? You're going through the wrong door, Esteban. Come back. Okay. 
Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wasn't the monolith in the room before the stairs? That creepy <laughs> elders looking thing. And this is Mark asking here. No, the monolith was in the basement in the old right. castle because you know we found the old wall. Right. In the basement. Let's go. Then let's go. Um, okay. Victoria's on the same page. Is that as... correct, Trap? No, it's it's a. It's a... Oh, the yeah, the, the yeah. DM is going. Yes, go to the basement. <laughs> Okay, yes. cool. And, and, right, yeah. and me and Will reiterate to Rick, come along if you want to, but we are going. <laughs> that's that's about his hand enough. <laughs> I've He's been right this whole time, and no one's yeah. listening to me. Now you're listening to me. <laughs> He's not the only one. Oh, Rick geez. is going to tag along uh, just just because of interest. So, oh, the cats. The cats. The cats are dead. I'm going to turn cats. around to Rick immediately. Don't use magic down here yet. Oh, no. It's fine. Okay. So, yeah. So, Mian has warned Rick to be careful with magic usage right now. Oh, don't. <laughs> Don't don't worry. I I, I I plan to be way way behind all of you lot, sir. No, <laughs> no. Not, there are creatures down anything. here. There are creatures down here that multiply in the presence of magic. That's what all I'm right. <laughs> so, um, you come back down into the basement. You know, through the, uh, the... we we've been placed by the door. There's yeah. a, there's a new door here. here. <laughs> They came down the door, down the stairs here. Sorry. Yeah, you came, you came down the stairs. You came down it. The DM hint. <laughs> Back to the wall that that you uh, uh, discovered last time that you tried to blast through that didn't didn't seem to blast at all. Um, but <laughs> now, now that you enter the storage room, everything seems to have been stacked against the walls um and and there appears to be a a, a doorway in this wall that wasn't there before Esteban you're leading this charge all right <laughs> you know what I'm here for Esteban being angry and getting shit done Yes, sign. I'm loving this rage path. It's great. I think he's actually going to take a level of barbarian. <laughs> Please do. Yeah, I, I think so. I honestly think so. He's going to clear the. He's going to clear the way. He's trying to march ahead. Can we rage blasting when? <laughs> Eldritch rage. <laughs> that does look oh pretty bad. That's actually. All Shall right. we? I'm opening the door. Going in. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, so you open the door, and there appears to just be a, a hollow, um, that isn't part of the large construction, um, but rather a space between the, 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 the house, what looks to be the ruins. Um, there is a, a, a rusted... Oh, there's a door there that I haven't replaced. But there is a, a, a rusted iron door uh, uh, in the wall. Um, Here? That's, yes, that. Okay. All right, well, we're all just storming forward, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Victoria will say one quick thing. Just one note. For those I... of us who, need, who may need to get to... And she just looks at you with a sharp look. I think the purpose behind the amulet, I know you've got range, but not all of us does, is so somebody can get close to it. Keep that in mind. Now, blast away. Good call. Reinhardt. Yeah. Toss, up, toss the amulet to one of them. Uh... Yeah, yeah, just hold their hand hold, out. Yeah, hold, hold. Just holding it out. Just like, I don't yeah, know. Me and Mian would scenario. take it. Me and okay. would take it. I'm last the door open. <laughs> or at least I attempt to. Okay. I'm three for three of these doors. The door was open, but as in like <laughs> openable. 
it wasn't locked, but sure, you 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 blast the door. Um, he's not reasonable right now. Okay. <laughs> Fuck stairs. <laughs> uh, can I just have uh, what did the amulet do again? Uh, just protection. From protection from good evil. evil. Yeah, just the effect of that spell is on you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so stairs curve along the wall of this buried tower chamber, rising then halting abruptly at the ceiling. Much of the floor has fallen away, collapsing into darkness. All right, let's go up the stairs. Where would we end up if we go upstairs now? I don't know. You, you can't go old. up the stairs. If you go up the stairs, you're just going to end up with a wall. Oh, oh, is there a pathway down here? There, there is. No. <laughs> Make me a perception uh, check. Okay, okay. One sec. I'm gonna ask him to investigate. Yeah, yeah. Make me an investigation or or perception. Oh fuck. Thirty oh, twenty. Uh, yes. You notice, Esteban, that there there appears to be a pit, like a little hole. That you can clamber down and you can hear echoes from the hole. Oh, we had a rope to repel. Um, it looks like a 30 foot drop. Uh, oh, wait, you do have a rope in pittance, don't you? Oh, no, it's Are shush. You... <laughs> don't remind I, me. Why? I am going to, uh, first off, I'm just gonna. Send two bolts down the hole and then I'm jumping down. <laughs> okay. Um it, it it lights up. Um as as you go towards the pit, you hear your name being whispered from the depths. Oh. This is why we need the amulet. Do we do we hear the name whispered? You hear your own name. You just gotta as he jumps down, you just gotta hear, I know it's a sexy day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while, oh, we're, while we're while we're standing here, I'm down. going I'm going to chug the healing potion that I have while we're just standing here. Okay. Uh, I'm scrambling down after us the ban as well. Okay. Uh do you have like a a spell of free falling of some form? <laughs> I'm gonna attempt Tumble. Okay, right. Uh, Acrobatic. Cool. Do that then. Um, I did have. I did. Can have anyone do that? Right. Uh, you, if, if you, if you want to try tumbling, go for yeah. tumbling. Um, a twenty-two on my acrobatics. Damn. Big, okay, I will give how you. How big a... is the hole? Mm. I didn't. I didn't Just get a twenty-two. To... Just to describe what it looks like, he's gonna jump down the hole and like halfway through out the free fall, stab his great sword into it to slow down a little bit and just pump it out. Ah. Why um, was the fucking to see how fucking awesome that was? Because you well, went first. I mean I Reinhold know. does appear next to you, just face fall first. Yeah, on the yeah. Ground. Face planted. <laughs> Can I attempt to catch my, my fallen bar brother? Go for it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Please catch me like a dame in distress. Oh. Dexterity? Oh, that's, 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 <laughs> of some form? To... I'm here for it. 18? Oh! Yeah! No, you managed to to catch Reinhob. I landed in the <laughs> with the free hand. It's just. <laughs> oh, I'm just like. Ah! Can I. <laughs> Can I use athletics and argue that Mian is doing the thing where, like, grabbing, sliding a couple, like, a foot, grabbing again, and, like... Yep, roll me. Uh, in athletics. Honestly, Please. I don't know how Esteban's doing any of this. Well... <laughs> yeah. Um, I, got, I got a 12. I'd say that you you managed it for a bit and then kind of lost your your your... Like process halfway down so uh make me a a uh um another check to um catch yourself uh towards the end what kind of check another athletics 
<laughs> right, right off the I, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, you you, you fall uh, uh, that last little bit um, and uh, uh, take uh, three bludgeoning. <laughs> Meanwhile, I will actually get out my pitten, get out my rope, <laughs> set it up properly because these morons will need a way back up. <laughs> and I will climb down after them. Just oh. so anyway, I started climbing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh I, I can't believe this. I yes, the, can't. I told you. <laughs> I told you I no. had some. I've been. I've been edging to do just that thing every session, and when we get to it. <laughs> To be fair, I've, I've to been, be fair, I've you been, made the choice to 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 just I've go been, for it without asking. You know what? I've been I've been repel cucked. That's what I've been. <laughs> I'm gonna so, begrudgingly stand back up, and I'm gonna use my healing hands feature on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria's right. We probably need a way back up, but according to Estebaya logic. Every wall is a door if you blast it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. So? Yes. Onlywalls.com. Anyway. You find yourself in a, um, in a buried cavity, uh, but nothing seems natural about it. Um, the amber light that floods this space has an eerie feeling. Petrified figures lie trapped among the pale stone walls, their faces contorted in terror. Deeper, the floor forms a crater-like depression filled with inky muck. From the centre of the pit rises a jagged amber monolith. A faint glow issues from within, backlighting a vague, elusive shape. Um, those, the petrified figures, are they facing the monolith? Um... As if they were looking at it. They are not all specifically facing the monolith. Can I throw my dagger at the monolith? Um, how far can you throw your dagger? Uh... I don't know how far. What is the throwing range? Of Forty or sixty feet, but you have advantage after twenty. Disadvantage after twenty. So it's it's thirty. It's thirty feet. Yeah. Oh, I can. Yeah. Okay. I can. I it's just twenty, 20 slash sixty, which is confusing. Yeah. Go ahead. I was just gonna say I was also gonna blast it. If my range is there. Oh yeah, you you can reach. You're not, yeah. you, it, there's a figure in in front of the monolith. Okay, ah, I bless them. Then that's the end. <laughs> yeah, I'm a real simple man. No, actually, we were told to destroy the monolith. So if I can, I'd like to aim at the monolith. Okay, throw okay, throw your dagger and blast the monolith. <laughs> Well, I, I'm actually I'm gonna aim for the I'm aim for the person if there's a person in front. Okay. Of me. So I I, I rolled a one. <laughs> Story oh dice. shit! Yes. Sorry. A one. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not throwing a... your dagger, you said. No, I am throwing my dagger at the person instead of the instead of the. Uh, at the uh, person. Man. Yeah, at the ghosty person. You just see a figure at the moment. Okie dokie, All right. So for clarity, <laughs> is there a cohesive, definitely, figure in front of the monolith? There is a figure in front of the monolith. And I can throw the monolith as well if I want to. You can't throw I the can... monolith, no, because... I can... <laughs> <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> I can throw the monolith as well. Right. I got a nat 20, and so I said I was throwing it at the monolith initially, so I guess I'll stick with, my... stick with what I was saying there, because clearly I'm ignorant of this person whatever whatever they may be anyway right so, okay yeah. um 
I'm not 20 the monolith. You're not 20 the monolith. I'm with your dagger. <laughs> uh, your dagger. What damage does your dagger do? Um, it, it says uh, 4 plus 1, um, but I don't know what crit. What, how, I don't it know how it auto rolled, rolled your crit. It auto rolled the crit, yeah. Okay, so then 5 damage. Um, what kind of damage? Uh, Is it miscellaneous piercing? magic. Uh, I think it's technically it's piercing damage, but it's mag magic piercing damage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is it I'm not entirely sure how book immunities work. I have always just made it up as I went along. <laughs> you 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 hit the monolith. Nice, and I'll teleport my dagger back to my yep. hands. Cool. Uh, yeah. Me and we'll the call character out. in front of the monolith is now made aware of you. What's it do you? Uh, Mian would like to call out, please step aside. We have come to destroy that thing. You hear a a shriek. And the figure begins floating and screams, You foul thing, take these lives and release me! Um, I'd like I you all to roll initiative, to... please. Yeah, I was just going to say Drangzor, question mark. I I'm, think, thinking... I think, I'm thinking that's Drangzor. I think that's Lady Silver. Oh, I'm thinking it's Drangzor. Hard. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I forgot uh, also, again to click, but I will stick. I'm feeling a little bit robbed about the amulet. I don't think you needed the amulet to go near it. And I think well, you just sorry. left me very vulnerable. That's not Sorry. true. <laughs> don't worry, it's right. fine. We, we don't know. We, yeah, we, we won't we, know. We, we... That's okay. But on my deathbed, I shall curse you. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, just add another one to this place. Why not? I don't know. I mean, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, I mean Esteban's already co them. collecting them all. Look at a fucked up game of Pokemon. Make curses look good. I shall bequeath Backstabber to Esteban. <laughs> Right. I love Esteban's attitude. Oh, dude. All right. I think we're all up. Ah. Take that old lady. Okay. So, uh, first up is Esteban. Yeah. Um, I rolled a one last time on my Elgin Blast. That was embarrassing. So, <laughs> I'm to, uh, I'm going to cast Hex with my bonus action on the figure in front. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I just did that. Um, and I am choosing... Oh, okay. I don't have anything to choose. Um, they just take extra damage when I hit them. I like that. Uh, and now I'm going to Blast. Okay. Does a, does a 20 hit. Uh, yeah, so 20 hits. Awesome. Uh, that's going to be 8 plus... 1. Uh, so 9 damage. Okay. As, uh, like, as he's left, he's just going, I am so sick! Of this ghost shit. Ryan <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yep. No, I'm throwing the dagger again at the the monolith. Um, because fuck that monolith. And maybe, maybe this lady will calm down once the monolith's dead. Maybe. Uh, eight. Fuck. <laughs> Plus five. That's a lot of. That's a big plus. So that was to to the monolith, you said? Yes. Uh, oh. no, that does not hit. All right, I'll teleport it back then. Um, 
I was gonna slap Expedius Expedius retreat on myself. Uh, bonus action to cast as a bo um, as a bonus action. I can use the dash action, um, just so I can start whizzing around if I gotta. Uh, also, I forgot one last thing with Hex. I'm sorry. Yep. Um, I'm gonna give this creature disadvantage on uh, wisdom uh, wisdom abilities to herself. <coughs> on wisdom, what? Sorry. Uh, let's see. It says. Um, the target has disadvantage on ability checkmate with the chosen ability. I'm choosing wisdom. Okay. Yeah, it's part of having the hex out on it. Yeah. All right. I'm worried I should, should have picked strength, but you know. Yeah. Uh, can well. I get um, Victoria and Mien to roll d20? Just d20s? Just a d20. Just a d20. 14. Yeah, not being a 19 eh, folks. Eight. Yeah, okay, so it's, uh, the figures go. Um... Figures? Plural? What? The, f <laughs> the figures go. Ah, oh, okay. It, it sits. Uh, and what you hear is the most ungodly wail. Um, and I need you all to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, shit. 21. Nine. Thirteen. I can't find my constitution. Oh, oh. Uh, Twenty. Hmm. Uh, okay. Everyone else is fine. But, um... Oh, no. <laughs> Victoria. You dropped to zero hit points. Okay, I know what that is. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. I, I know exactly what he is now. That's Dranzog, and I know exactly what he is. Um, have fun. What? I know exactly what he is now. Mark what? knows. M Mark you're... knows. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're in trouble. See, Victoria doesn't know. What's What, what have... happened to Victoria just then? I just... she's, she's down. She's zero yeah. hit points oh. and dying. Victoria is down. Yep. Have fun. Yeah. Um, so... There's a potion on me, but have fun. Um, oh, it'll, it'll be, it'll, it'll it'll be the healer's fine. turn. It'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> right. Yes, it is the healer's turn. Uh, what? <laughs> it's your turn, Mian. No, no death save? Is it not zero well, and it, dying? It's just then... It's, Victoria's roll was the lowest. Uh... Out of, oh, no, no, it is Victoria's go. Victoria, it's your go, so death save. Sure. Um, Nat 20, easy. Come on. Oh, crap. Silly question, but mm -hmm. I've been playing Pathfinder for a long time now. Can I have a reminder of death save in Frozen 5e, please? Uh, it's... I, I don't... Okay. Go, go, go ahead. Uh, I, I know the success-failure ratio. Uh, I mean, dice roll. It's uh, a flat check. Just, yeah, it's just a... Yeah. You, okay. you need a 10. Roger that. On a 1, but you lose one, two, 2. On a 20, you get 1 hit point. 1 yeah. failure. 1 failure. Uh, okay. And... Now it's my turn. Now it's Mian's turn. Remember, as a, as a group, you are able to react and help your comrade... If you so wish, in various uh, ways, uh, if you have healing, if you have uh, any such actions, uh... we all have potions. So it's gonna yeah, yeah, we. I, I, I already have an idea for what I'm doing with my turn. That's me. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mian is going <laughs> to first um, kneel down and give uh, my last five 
uh, lay of hands points to uh, as an action to Victoria, so you get five hit points. And then Mian is going to start walking towards this creature, and as she <laughs> does, she's going to drag her nails along her sword, and sparks come off like it's being like a grinding wheel. And I'm going to cast Divine Favor on my blade. So okay. for one minute, I now do radiant damage on top of regular damage with my sword. Okay. Uh, how close are you getting? Uh, well, I'm going to walk all the way up. 5, 10, 15. Yeah, I'm walking up here. 20 feet. So obviously, it, just to the base of the muck, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. Because there is a... But, but a... it's still within, like, Ooh. slashing range of ghost. So as you get closer, um, you can see more um, of of the person uh, uh, that is bathed in all of this uh, uh, orange light. As you get closer, obviously, very see through character in magnificent uh, male um, with uh, uh, a a noble's crest uh, upon their breast um, and flowing hair falling swimming around her head. Ah. Yeah, but that's uh, that's my turn. I've done uh, action, bonus action, movement. Okay, Esteban. Yes? It is your <laughs> turn. Okay. Um, well, I'ma just scooch on over here so I get a better line of sight. Uh, then I'm a, I'ma fire my laser. Um, yeah. A uh, 18 to hit? I'm pretty sure that hits. Yep. Uh, and that's gonna be a total of 12 damage. That with the hex. Yep. Is Victoria stabilized? Yes. Yeah, I, I gave hit points to Victoria. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, I just couldn't remember. I have <laughs> leaky memory. Okay, right. Oh. Uh, anything further? Oh, no, that's it. Okay, Reinhardt. Uh, throw on the dagger. At? We killed the big... Uh, at oh. her this time. At, at her. her. Yeah, we uh, we killed the big bird. We can kill this one. I believe. Uh, 14. That does indeed hit. Oh, ah, nice. cool. Five damage. Five damage. Fourteen hit, okay. And now, uh, no now problem. it is her turn. Um, so I need you all to make um, wisdom saving throws, please. Oh, no, I was going to... Eight. Eight. No, nine for me. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, uh, Reinhop and Victoria, you're all good. Hey, um, the rest of you are now frightened. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, you can repeat your your saving throw at the end of each turn. Uh, and it that it that'll end it. Uh, but yes. Uh. Do I need to explain frightened or? Okay, no, cool, cool, cool. Oh, Kidox. Uh, and next is Victoria. All right, I don't need to stand up to shoot this thing with a magic missile. Aiming at Lady Silver. Uh, just to, like turn over onto my front, and it's just like <laughs> <sighs> whack, and just um. Three magic missiles heading our esteemed guests' way. 
Um, let's see. The first one is a four. The second one is a three. And the next one is a five. So that is a total of 12 points worth of force damage. Nice. Uh, bonus action, second wind. Thank you for that short rest. Uh, <laughs> 1d10 plus uh, one. I regain nine. Uh, and uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Five, Isn't it six, nine six, plus fighter level? Ten, then. Thank you. Uh, puts me one under. Uh, then my full. And then half of my movement to stand up. And I'll just step forward. And I'll just say, this party's over. Bien. Shit, my turn. Uh, I am frightened. Does some protection and eat for good and evil give you any help with that? Oh, shit. Actually, yes. I cannot be frightened. Nice. Yeah, okay. That's cool. actually... Thank you. Thank you for that one, Mark. Yes, it says that... I'm, I'm assuming it's an undead creature. Yes. Yeah, I cannot be frightened by them. Awesome. Charmed, charmed, frightened, or possessed. I cannot be. Great. Uh, wonderful. My sword is glowing as um, if it's been treated in a forge. And I'm going your amulet is also glowing. Oh. Oh. Do I feel like I could do something with that glow? It, it feels like it. It wants wants you to uphold it. Like hold it aloft. Yeah. Shit. Oh my god, that's a, what a great idea. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You know what? They gave this to me because I am the melee combatant yep. just for this. So I, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll I'll hold it up. I'll grab it and hold it aloft. The amulet pulsates and a white light and uh, Mara shrinks away from it and the monolith light itself dwindles. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Was that an <laughs> action or a bonus action or what did I use? I'm going to say it's a bonus action. action. Okay, then as my action, I will use my uh, my sword that looks like it's just come out of a forge. It's glowing, and I'm going to swing at uh, the spirit. Okay. You can say she held that raven loft. Ha <laughs> ha. 16 hit. Yep, that hits. Okay, uh, I'm going to do... Uh, it is going to be... There we go. 11 points of slashing damage, but then it's all... Oh, yeah. yes. Um, 11 slashing damage and one point of radiant damage. So, is it non-magical it slashing? Is, yes, it is non-magical slashing. Okay. Uh, so... Bloody ghasts. <laughs> so, five points of slashing if she's resistant. Yeah. But isn't, um, it, isn't it double on radiant, assuming they're a normal undead? Some undeads do, some don't, but it's... Uh... Yeah, I suppose. Uh, oh, also, no. you, um, undead have disadvantage attacking you directly, you personally, as well. That's a thing to also note. Is it? Is that part of it? Yeah. No? No? Yeah, protection from evil and good. Oh, okay. Well, I, I thought you were talking about my divine favor spell. I was like, no, God. no, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, that was Bye. that's the amulet. I, I realized you'd immediately forgotten about. <laughs> yeah. Looking pretty, pretty. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna just like pivot to the side to give <laughs> them clear shots. And but also remember stuff. to roll. Uh, oh, you can't. You're not frightened. So it's yeah, fine. I'm. I'm. I'm fine. So that's my turn. Okay, Esteban. All right. Uh, so I'm spooked. I'm a little scared. Uh, I don't like this. I want to go home. So I'm going <laughs> to start blasting. <laughs> uh, does an 11 hit? No, it does not. 
Uh, oh, I, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's all I got. Uh, but with my bonus action, I would like to tear off a piece of cloth and put it in my ears. Okay. <laughs> and make your, your next roll for... That's right, my wisdom. Yeah. Thirteen. He's still scared. Um, I think I make it. I think you make it. Let me just give it. A... I do believe in fairies. <laughs> I do. So that was a thirteen, you said. Yep. 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 Uh, he's got like after he puts the cloth in his ears, he just yells at the top of his lungs. Nobody makes me scared of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you are not frightened anymore. Cool. <laughs> He's just angry at me. <laughs> right now, it's that it's that barbarian level growing up. I'm gonna throw the I'm gonna throw my dagger again. Okay. I'm loving the returning dagger thing. Seventeen. That's You're doing great with that it. dagger. So uh, seven seven damage. Okay. Seven magical piercing damage. It just needed to be a little bit imbued. You wait until I give this thing the ability to speak and to have feelings. It'll just get better. <laughs> like, so, so it's just gonna be like the the children you're carrying around. Yeah. Oh, wow! Yeah. Right. If they were a last result if this fight started going sour. You know what I mean? Wow! <laughs> no one needs to know that in game. Are you doing anything else with your action? Uh, no, actually, like the experience retreats handy, but um, really foolish to use. So I'm just gonna stay where I am at perfect range. <laughs> Oh, I'll, I'll return the, the dagger back to my hand. That's it. I'm done. Um, okay. Uh, before Farah's turn, um, Reinhop and Esteban, uh -huh. both of you hear in your heads a voice oh yeah this voice doesn't exactly form words you get the uh -huh. feeling it is offering you a gift i like gifts Right. Free is we're fun. In, we're in agreement about if this. you it's leave cool. the monolith alone, once you are done with Mara, can we recognize that we're both having this moment? Like, is there a moment where we're both you're like... both having it separately in your heads? Okay. I just wonder if we. I wonder if we like look, looking looking between Victoria and uh, and. Um... How do I immediately... Esteban, with looking between Victoria and Esteban, like, I want to see if we can have, like, a moment with Esteban. Like, you, uh, you getting this? You getting this? <laughs> you, might get, you might get an eyebrow wiggle, like... But you're Victoria, always wiggling your eyebrows. You you, you hear uh, <laughs> Victoria? No? I think in my head, I would say, <laughs> that depends on the gift. You will get to choose, but only one of you can accept. Ah, oh, oh, you overestimate my greed. Mm. You estimated my greed perfectly. All right, I don't have. To... <laughs> I'm not gonna stop them from doing what needs to be done, but I won't partake. Okay. So, Reinhop, you are declining. Oh, uh, oh, do I have to make up my mind? Yes, you have to make up your mind now. It, you are either yes or no. One of only one of you gets it. Wait. So it's told me, it's it, so I, I I know that only me me or Esteban are gonna get this gift. You you don't know who else has got that. Oh, so someone else, someone else, someone is else this in the party has been it's offered been... Mm. a gift. You don't know yeah. who, and okay. whoever makes the decision makes the decision. I... Esteban has already said yes, and so basically, I'll have to get you to roll off against each other if you say yes. If you say no, then I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say yes because there's like there's a there's a two out of three chance that w no offense, one of the goody two shoes have got it. And I know that's two shoes. Like, right, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, 
<laughs> They're gonna choose I to accept <laughs> this, and what if it's Esteban? Like, if, worst case scenario. Can... Okay. You get to defeat evil, and I get a treat. Like those, <laughs> of, those of you need I'm to roll a d twenty. Oh dear! It's such a good job that no one else can hear this. It's just me and me and you in our heads. Oh! By one. Perfect. Oh, Perfect. Nice. Okay. Balance to the force. That's not balance to the force at all. It's okay. Backstabbing those. I've stuff. sent you a DM in Discord. <laughs> Esteban. Oh. Why didn't I get okay. this choice? Am I not the evil one here? <laughs> I'm lawful. I'm neutral. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, no, I'm. I'm oh. good. I guess. Am I the only good character? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I think I'm neutral, chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's it, it's yeah. Mara's turn. Uh going to do okay uh does a 16 hit mien you have disadvantage because of protection from evil okay and... dokes but no 16 <laughs> doesn't hit so unless you roll higher 13 yeah it's not no good. cool so the shine from the amulet and my shield keeps me safe <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, and then it is Victoria's go. Uh, it's just going to be a simple uh, firebolt towards Lady Mara. I don't like someone dropping me unconscious. Right. Um, here we go. 16 to hit. Uh, it hits. How much damage? Max 10. Fire. Magical. <laughs> it's uh, resistant, so it's only... <gasps> A f magical fire? Ice. Okay, um, I mean, could yeah. have fire resistance. Fire resistance. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. That's good. But she's looking pretty beat up. Pretty and beat up. Bien. I say. Oh, oh yeah. sorry. Mm -hmm. Did you want to do something else? Yeah, I was just going to say first I take care of you, and then I'm going to take care of that stone. Is the amulet still doing a glowy thing? Or does it feel like it's done its thing? Feels like it needs to wait a bit. <laughs> um, if that's the case, I'm actually. You know what? No, I'm just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna just uh, do a good old hug. I'm gonna stab. I'm. I'm charging my sword up, and I'm. Going at it. Okay. Fuck! That does not hit. <laughs> I go straight through and doesn't seem to make contact. Okay, Esteban, have you made your choice? Hell yeah. Oh, well, which... There's, there's some options in what you sent me. Um, I just... Do I get to pick that, or...? Yep, you get to pick one of those. That gives the fun. Okay, um... You don't have to say it out loud if you don't want to share it, uh, but just have it in, in mind, and then you get to choose your next action. Yep. All right. I'm going to fire at the ghost uh, person. Okay. Because nobody makes me afraid of nothing. <laughs> well, right. fair. Just ignore that, because apparently clicking on the fucking window keeps on rolling shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's a 10. Apparently, I'm really distracted with You are really distracted. That did yeah. nothing. Yeah. Um, but what I will... What I will do as a bonus action with my new gift, if I might... Yeah. Uh, you see, he fires and looks at his hands, and the reason that he missed is because his hands are turning into... Uh, mist and fog and then it just shuts him right next to uh, the ghost that he was attacking. Is that a misty step? Yes. Oh! Nice! A cool. misty hand. And that's my turn. Okie dokes! Right up! Do I... Can I feel like I wasn't that I wasn't chosen? 
You hear silence. Oh, that's... Oh, Reinhop is a spiteful little gremlin. <laughs> oh, fuck the ghost. I'm throwing it at, um, I'm throwing my dagger at the, at the monolith. <laughs> You're lying, <laughs> cheating, voice. scheming little shit. <laughs> yeah, does the ten hit the monolith? No. <laughs> it doesn't hit I'm the... so mad I just fucking throw my dagger in, in a general direction and just teleports back to my hand. Uh... And I'm just stamping my feet, just like, You're lying! Thieving! Bastard! <laughs> just spitting on the ground and stamping. I want my gift! Uh... Did you say that out loud? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Blatantly out loud. <laughs> Uh, okay, is that all you're going to do? Yeah. Cool. Um, next is Mara's turn, but... Oh! Sorry, my screen just went black. Um, okay. But because um, technically she shouldn't have attacked last turn, she's going to skip this turn. So, oh. Victoria. Okay, um... Right. Seeing that my magic is not doing um, Jack against her, and being told that the, from the mother that the monolith is the source of all of this, she will try her hand at the monolith and see if her magic will fare any better there. So she will open fire at the monolith this time. Okay. A uh, 10 miss. That does not hit. Wait for next turn. Bien. I'm slashing at the ghost. Okay. Oh, come on, nine. Jesus. It's not hit. Esteban. Does no one in chat have enough points to give us All a right, here we go. <laughs> um, for the first, for, for I believe the first time, he's going to whip out Oathmaker. And just go, just die already. Uh, again, it's redundant, but we're doing it. <laughs> um, that's a 19, which crits for me. Nice. Um, so let's go ahead and. Oh, and also, I am an orc. I, for... Look, I can't. Ferocious that. attack. So <laughs> that means on a crit, roll one of your weapons dice. A uh, one additional time and add it to the extra damage. Jeez. Yeah, so That's this is so good. Orcs hit and hard. I... You've got to be F and E of the S and A. All right, hold on one second. Uh, and, and another, I'm adding another oh. 2d6. One for my savage crit and one for uh, hex. This... That's a bit better. Okay, so uh, in total? Uh, in total, uh, are we double, or is it double damage all crits? How are we doing? Double that? damage for a crit. Okay, so that is 24. Describe to me <laughs> your killing move. Uh, I think, I think he kind of becomes corporeal behind <clears throat> her with the sword already, like, hanging over his head. And where he once had, like, black eyes when he was doing his hex stuff, it's now just mist and cloud, like, the same fog that's outside. And he splits her in half. Uh, and because oh. it's hex, I start to consume her soul. <laughs> 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 or just a bit of it. <laughs> as I, I gain HP from doing this. And just... Can we... Go home <laughs> As you you destroy Mara, um, the cavern releases a sigh. Like the entire cavern just sighs with relief. I think that's Trenzog. Get it <clears throat> Putting my dagger away, I've taken out my pack a little bit, and I've taken out some tools. 
because I'm proficient in these mason tools of mine, and I have a fucking ro bone to pick with a goddamn big ass rock. So I'm gonna go looking for my gift inside, if it's like on the outside. So when I have a fucking little mallet and a chisel in hand, I'm stomping up over to the over here to this monolith. Now, is there any, is there anything to stop me doing that as I step into the mud? No, I was gonna do the same. What since my sword is still glowing, I was gonna step into the muck and just start wailing. Uh, uh me, yeah. before you do that, I think Esteban's gonna like put a hand on your shoulder. This this sword. And like with just the slightest bit of panic in his voice go, I need that amulet. I need that amulet right now. Why? What's happening? Talk later. Amulet now. Trust me. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll a thing for myself here, real quick. <laughs> oh, Mien doesn't trust your ass. I will <laughs> say it's a, it's a distinguishable difference from the first time you see him do heck. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you can confirm yourself if you want to, but I rolled pretty high insight right now. And, um, there's. Very clearly, something wrong with Esther right now. Like he's almost half smoke. Like, <laughs> hearing this exchange, can I just yank the, the amulet off of me? And is that possible? I'm setting up my tools and be like, nah, 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 nah. like a Jawa. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was I was gonna do one thing if I'm allowed before then. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. Um, I would cast command. Oh, on Esteban. Okay. Okay. If you want to do a wisdom save, it's not a high DC. It's eleven. Hey. Yeah, and I would say step back. <laughs> hey, I, think well, Esteban, I think Esteban's gonna look at you directly in the eye and say, well, While they're frapping about, I'm launching as many firebolts as I can and I need to <laughs> into that into that into that monolith because the mother's wishes. Okay. So I'm yeah. still blasting that right. monolith. Roll, uh, roll me. Look, I was gonna... However many is a reasonable number. I was gonna chisel it down, and you're just blasting fireballs above my head. <laughs> I, what can I say? Too. I think Esteban is a bad influence. <laughs> I, I start blasting. Does it uh, hit? Okay. Shit. Have to fight scene again. Doesn't hit. Twenty-four. Does hit. Uh, for eight. Yokes. Doesn't look very turbed by it. Am I having any reaction to this happening? You get the feeling that. Whatever talked you is willing you to make the choice or bad things will happen. So if I don't stop you must protect. Friend. Is it like a visible this this it, okay. Make a perception check. I was gonna say it's very obvious. I, I mean, I meant, I meant like in his demeanor. Yeah, make make me a perception check. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Ten. Yeah, I mean, you can see that he's struggling with that, um, and that, that, that he's definitely got inner turmoil. Okay. Can I interject in, in game as well? Be like, master me in. Monolith, it talks, speaks to us in our mind. Clearly, selfish shit here is other person who took boon. Okay? What so boon? Give amulet. Monolith said, don't have Monolith get gift. 
obviously Reinhop not good enough for fancy fucking you. It strikes Nog. He's in the he, he's in the monolith. Mara was protecting it. Yeah. You fucking amulet would have possessed and stabbed it all. But if it's telling him he wants the amulet, I will slap you so the fucking hard. You have the amulet. I'm telling you, I need it. Fine, the and just the like, put the amulet over your neck. <laughs> does does it go away? Here, you can't hear the amulet. Uh, the amulet, the the monolith anymore. Oh, master! Oh, the amulet's possession. It was a bit unclear if he wanted the amulet for nefarious reasons. Oh, you free, that's you free, okay. you free, that's enough. Destroy that thing. Fine, fine. Let me get to work. So my, I, and like, I, I, what do I have to? What do I have to roll? Do you think to like start chiseling away at its base? Like, with, yeah, and can I? To us? Like, I have, <laughs> I have, I have a hammer. Can I just swap from sword to hammer? Yeah, and start... sure. You can, you can attack <laughs> as long as you roll me attacks. Um, just yeah, okay. just roll me attacks. Uh, I'm walking away from this as far as I can. Yeah. You so. you are compelled to walk away from it. Yeah. Uh, so Victoria and Reinhop, you two make quite right. short work of it. Um, and with your combined efforts eventually monolith begins to crumble Stupid fucking the light rock. fades and the inky water drains away revealing a dozens of skeletal remains oh of the house's past victims. Well, this place fucking sucks. Uh, anyone who fun. wants to make me a perception check? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Nope, never mind. He did absolutely die. 23. Uh, oh, Victoria, my you notice in the the crater that is left uh, a uh, deck of cards. <laughs> no. Uh, she'll pick them up. What? And then she'll do because um, a bit like Esteban, although unlike Esteban, she more keeps it in than expresses it out. She's pretty much done with this place as well as she just motions to the air and actually swears properly for once. Talking to Drenzog, she just says, rest in peace, motherfucker. And she just decides to walk out. And she goes up to Esteban and said, yeah, you were right. Come on. <laughs> I, I think this? almost a little exhausted gonna put a hand on Victoria's shoulder and go, I could get us home now. <laughs> she just not she just nods and starts scaling the rope. You you hear Rick's voice from from the the uh pit uh going Is everything okay down there? We should oh, be free God. to leave. Yes, the uh the house <laughs> seems different. Fucking hate this guy. Reinhop, you hear from your pockets. Can we leave oh. now? Oh, hello, children. How could Reinhop ever forget about children? Yeah, you can leave. Let's go. Let's go back to mommy and papi and I don't know, whatever you have for family and the likes. You want that? You want to go see mommy again? That would be nice. Yeah, sorry, Reinhardt was rude. Uh, no one should be rude to you like that, children. You deserve better in life or wherever you go. Come on. So, I, I'm assuming you're you're leaving the by means of the rope and uh, handy pittens that were placed so that you could <laughs> leave. Uh, 
<laughs> as you as you come out of of the basement, you walk through the house. The house seems still, relieved, empty. Shit. The front door yeah. is open. The mists I'll just look at... are not at the door anymore. Can I just I look at. Oh, so I'll just I'm just gonna look at Rick and the only thing I will say to him to kind of generally explain it all out is just one quick sentence I say to him two mortal enemies who just couldn't let it go and she just walks out Esteban what were you gonna say uh, I was gonna say uh, Esteban is now a mist walker and can travel freely this as though he had a talisman. <laughs> oh, yes. So we can get uh, the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. Um, okay, so you exiting the house? Um, Master Rick. Yeah. I hate you. Uh, but what do I do with the children? Do you know how to set them free? I think once they are free of the house, then they they may be freed from their, their current situation. Okie dokie. Uh, would you mind passing me a candlestick beside you? There's a candlestick beside me? Okay. There is now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, very strange, and. Very strange place for a candlestick <laughs> next to this pit, but sure, here you go. <laughs> Uh, what else do you think we were seeing in here? Just wander around in the dark? Gosh, so I hate you so much, Rick. Um, I'm going to start a big fire. Uh, everyone else down? Yeah. Yeah? Well, right into the ground. Oh, when we leave? This whole fucking hey, yeah. place. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping it's down. when we leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, sorry, I haven't lost the mind so much as to trap you all inside and suffer like I have. I'm already out the oh, door. See, Victoria, no give a fuck. Let's go, let's go. And as I'm as I'm as we're leaving, I'm like grabbing like dry bits of fabric and like ripping chunks of painting off and stuff, and just having it under my arm. So ah. you uh you come out the house uh finally uh free of of this cursed place uh the mists well well further away from the house still obscure your path forward um and as you as you leave the area back into the mists the the children the voices seem to have stopped. Looking back, you see the spirits of the two youngsters with their parents in front of the house uh, fade into the mists. That, I did I did want to start a fire in the foyer as I left. You threw it back while you were while Yeah, you were no, exiting. I did. I just Yeah, I was just like Fuck Plumes <laughs> of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I, just I, think like... <laughs> I think that's actually a nice badass little scene. We're sort of like walking away from it, and we got in one corner of the picture the fire, and then we just noticed out the corner of our eye, yeah. in the opposite direction, the harvest is all walking away as well. I think and that's quite. I think that's quite cool. As you turn back to the road in front of you, catch a glimpse of the winged figure that you saw before going forward into the mists, leading you onwards. And that's where we're going to end today. Got there eventually. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Spin-off series where I kill Rick. <laughs> I think I collected every curse possible. <laughs> oh, how possessed can you get? The stupid oh, thing love- Sorry, the stup- the, the, no, I was just going to say, the stupid thing is, is I know who he is, and oh my god, it all depends on how Drac was envisioning him, but so far off the bullseye. 
We were. It's, I don't know, and I'm not going to say anything because this is Drax game, so it could be different. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, um, we ran a little bit over our usual our usual time, so we're going to wrap up pretty quickly. But uh, thank you all for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> that stint. Um, there may be some changes incoming with uh, the the campaign going forward uh, due to some. Uh, recent uh, <laughs> developments um, with the whole um, with the whole uh, uh, thing yeah thing so uh, we'll keep you up to date once we have figured that out uh, but yes let's go around the party quickly just to introduce ourselves and say our goodbyes how to doodle everyone again um i'm storyteller vanitas one half of uncanny queers you can find us on twitch and twitter i've been playing reinhop the oh i'm not kobold. archivist the kobold um artificer oh artificer thank you so much oh goodness me. go on <laughs> i'm mark alexander cross primary gm of the rail tales group uh i've been playing victoria the rosa the human slash uh fighter slash wizard uh Cheers, like the mystery. That was cool. Yeah. I'm Josie Buzzer. I DM for a group called Dramonia, and I've been playing me and Celesteel, the Fallen Asmar Paladin. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Noir. Uh, I was, I've been playing Esteban, the Hexblade, who uh, really is <laughs> taken to that whole Hex thing. <laughs> <laughs> the Miss Walking Hexblade. I like this. <laughs> that, that's, that is actually very badass. He's, he's not only sexy, but hexy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the song that's his moment we're leaving on. <laughs> and um, I am Drac. This is my channel. I'm the DM. Um, I'll I'll be found here tomorrow, uh, returning to my, my usual content. Uh, but yes, um, thank you all for hanging out. I hope you had fun. I hope you have a good rest of your evening or day. Um, if you'd like to keep in contact outside of stream, do follow on the socials, join the discords. And yes, thank you all for hanging out. I hope you have a good one and I'll see you all soon. Say bye all. Bye, bye all. all. Applause for Drac. Applause for Drac. Can't hear my applause through my mic, but it's fine. <laughs>